I'm sorry. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. So let's get into this. This was about a month ago, though, a little bit old, but Congresswoman who helped spearhead Black Lives Matter movement under investigation over campaign spending. Okay, so it's not the first time we heard about this, what they were doing with the Black Lives 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 Matter money. Because it sure enough didn't go to the Black Live Lives. I'm just being funny, dog. That's my echo. It didn't. We didn't see no programs. We didn't see no after school programs. We didn't see no breakfast programs. We didn't see no domestic violence programs. Y'all know me, Grace Lee. I'm about to call out the shit. If I y'all if y'all talking about programs, I could come up with some damn ideas, and they ain't do not a near nothing. That's why they got us looking all crazy and you know you got the racist people like black lives don't matter look what you fucking did with the money that wasn't us that was this crooked joke that was allegedly sponsored by uh what's his name shapiro i call him shapiro you know who i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about about the elites they she didn't get all that money from us okay shit we wanted to get some of that money to get help but she ain't get it from us okay so it wasn't us. Okay, so one con Congress, one oh, one of Congress' most outspoken representative is under investigation after being accused of misappropriating security funds, according to the statement she released Tuesday. Statement she released Tuesday. Corey Bush, a former Black Lives Matter organization, has denied any wrongdoing. Is and is fully corroborated in an investigation, she said. Since taking office in 2020, you see how they was still like, okay, I didn't even know this lady made it to Congress and she was part of Black Lives Matter. I thought after the damn investigation went on and they saw that they ain't spend the money right in Black Lives Matter, these people was out of the pocket. But obviously, you ain't part of the system. Me and you, we're not part of the system. We're not part of this shit. So it ain't going to make sense to us that she can get into Congress still. Okay? Okay? I don't like it. Okay? Since taking office in 2020, Bush said that her physical safety and life has been threatened, but denies using federal tax dollars for personal security. Okay. So as a risk and fly member, oh, as a rank and file member of Congress, I am not entitled to personal protection by the House. And instead, they have used campaign funds as um, permissible to retain security service. Bush wrote in her statement, I have not used any federal tax dollars for personal security service. Any reporting that I have used federal funding for personal security is simply false. Whoa. That's fucking petty. I'm just keeping it real. Congress can't get no damn security out of federal funding. Wait a minute. Ooh. I just, it sounds like the same way they going after Miss Fannie Willis. They going after your ass. Tokenism has got you in the fucking hot seat. Grace Levi said it. If you don't like it, oh, well, I just say, people, mind your damn business and don't get involved in this system. A lot of people used to say, you should get in politics. I said, hell to the no, no. They not going to control me. They ain't going to put me up there and rip my ass down because they know they never liked me from the beginning. And they wanted to use me for tokenism and shit to represent them for whatever they want. And now my mouth so damn big, bitch, I'm in trouble. I know the motherfucking game. You're not going to get Grace Levi. Not never. Let's play this clip. That's what I'm talking about, okay? I know my position. I know what it is in society. Y'all can fake the funk. Oh, it's even playing ground. They do that to everybody. Not just black women. They do that to everybody, the stars and everybody. But I know me, that's how they will attack me. And that's how they're attacking these black women, getting them, undercutting their asses. Let's go. In recent months, right-wing organizations have lodged baseless complaints against me. 
peddling notions that I have misused campaign funds to pay for personal security services. That simply is not true. I have complied with all applicable, law, applicable laws and House rules and will continue to prioritize the rules that govern us as federal elected officials. In particular, the nature of these allegations have been around my husband's role on the campaign. In accordance with all applicable uh, rules, I retained my husband as part of my security team to provide security services because he has had extensive experience in this area and is able to provide the necessary services at or, or below fair market rate. The you see what I'm saying? See, this way you fuck up, black people. I'm going to just tell you this right now. I'm just I'm just keeping it real. Um, I know other nations probably do this, but I'm telling you from what I saw, you don't fucking do that. When you get government money, these government money, you can't take that money and misappropriate it and use it for your friends and family, Okay especially someone that's your immediate family, like your husband and making them your security. Maybe your husband's friend has a security team that's legit. You could probably take that chance. So that's where she fucked up at. Excuse me. I'm just keeping it real. I've been there, done this, heard this shit, misappropriate funds. Doesn't it sound like number two of a Fannie Willis? Something is going on. Is it just distraction, a campaign, or both, honestly, because y'all know when it's too much of something going on for Grace Levi, I'll be like, what are they trying to distract us from? People, people, pay attention to what's going on under. We got the mass migration coming in and we got trouble. So that's what I think they're distracting us from. But listen to this shit. Listen to this. These frivolous complaints have resulted in a number of investigations, mm. some of which are still ongoing. The Federal Election Commission and the House Committee on Ethics are currently reviewing the matter, as is the Department of Justice. We are fully cooperating in all these pending investigations. In September of last year, 2023, after conducting a months-long investigation, the Office of Congressional Ethics found no wrongdoing and voted unanimously to dismiss the case. I look forward to the same outcome from all impending investigations. And I am under no illusion that these right wing organizations will stop politicizing and pursuing efforts to attack me and the work that the people of St. Louis sent me to Congress to do, to lead boldly, to legislate change my constituents can feel and to save lives. Thank you. you um, so, yeah, another black woman under fire in an official position. OK, we got some more to show you. Doesn't it sound remarkably familiar? Right around election time, though, they got all of this damn chaos going on. So let's keep it moving because we got more to show you. I think we have another woman. Now, this was brought to my attention. Um, FBI probe misconduct allegedly against Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Okay. This broad. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, y'all. I know the white people are like, I like Grace Levi. She getting on these black women. They need it. Good. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I'm fucking telling you, some of these people crooked as fuck. And I know people. And I'm talking about my black women. When we get crooked, we fucking crooked. We can't be crooked and, and strong and beastful. This shit is scary. I'll be like, oh, no, find Jesus because you're going to hell. Some of these women, I'm just keeping it real. So, yeah, I like the white people going to have fun with me tonight because they like, she going to be ripping their asses to shred. Look at this one. It looks like these women came from rough spots like me from the hood, got to a position, and then fucked up, okay? I came from Newark, and if I get to a position, I'm sure I'm not going to do no fuck shit like what they doing, okay? Getting all caught up in this nonsense. But let's go. I'm going to play it, and I'm going to call them like they call it, be offended, because this is some bullshit. Black women officials under fire, but some crooked stuff is happening. I'm just keeping it real. Y'all thought I was going to come in and be like, oh my God, protect all black women. No, we protect who is fucking righteous around here. Is this some crooked shit going on? Y'all going to be mad when I talk about uh, Trump too. I'm just saying, I call a cat a cat, a dog a dog. Act the hell up and watch what I do. Let's go. Fox 32 has information indicating the FBI has launched an investigation into controversial Dalton Mayor Timothy Ooh. Henyard. Dane Placco has been following allegations of her misspending and joins us now with an update. Dane. Yeah, we've been reporting. Number three. So is this is this deja vu or psyops? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Come on, leave me a comment. Am I tripping? 
this is not normal okay now i y'all see what i'm saying about the woman i kind of believe that they probably is most likely crookedness but isn't it a coincidence that this shit is coming out back to back back to back state to state let's go now the fbi is involved in this one and the fbi mm, once they on your ass you're gonna they're gonna be on you for a couple of years reporting for nearly two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity as Dalton mayor and Thornton Township uh, supervisor. And now we've learned from multiple sources that federal agents are in fact interviewing witnesses as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about? Yes, yeah, very serious. Concerns? Very, very serious, very. Uh, Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago, frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police. Wow. He believes because he refused to make a donation to a civic event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henry. I talked to um, a couple of agents and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me. Gardner is one of six people who confirmed to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI, ranging from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Agents are asking questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer dollars and resources including massive spending on out-of-town trips, hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for her personal security detail, using public employees and tax dollars for personal benefit, and holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. I've heard rumors that say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has been trying to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. While he has not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved because he's provided catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. I think I've been just wow. targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people. Thing? You know, I had the trustees. I've, I've cooked for the trustees. And in a lawsuit filed by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, oh George's God. towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. Oh, in my God. I'm sorry, guys. I've been holding my mouth. Do y'all hear this shit? Wait. In a statement, Dalton trustee Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Oh, Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. Oh, my God. We reached out to the oh, FBI, God. which said it is policy for the agency not to comment on the nature, existence, or yeah. non-existence of any investigation that may be occurring. A public relations firm responded on behalf of the mayor, saying neither Henyard or the village of Dalton have received any subpoenas or been contacted by the FBI or any other law enforcement agency. I'm Putting sorry. Massive spend I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all gonna be mad at this black woman. Look at this motherfucking chick. I, first and foremost, she's guilty. I said it. I believe it. She's literally strong arming businesses so she can stay in office. You're on the wrong side of the team because they're catering to her opponent. This, this is shit that happened in the black community. I'm telling, I'm telling, and I'm telling today, this is the misallocation of money. This is what happens all the time. This is why black businesses don't survive. Be mad at Lashley, you motherfucking right. Because of crooked shit like this. You got to get your hair. You got to get your nails done. You got to have security. You got to go around doing shit crooked. I said it. I said it. And then you get into a damn position and you do obvious crooked shit. There's not a reason why people's business licenses are not being renewed. All you have to do is start looking at the books and where the money is being spent. And they're going to find, the FBI is going to find every last nook and penny and cranny that this broad nun spent on herself. I'm going to say this is embarrassment and exposure 
of some of the black behavior, well, some of the black behavior, I'm going to say, of the black behavior, black behavior in our community, be fucking offended, black people. Because I'm affected by this shit. Because crooked people like this is the one that get on top. Y'all, 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 either y'all being strong arm by them or you're fucking mesmerized. So here we go. FBI probe misconduct allegation against Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hart. Here you. Same allegation, misappropriation of funds, okay? Now, we're going to get into, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my. Got another one, and this ain't even misappropriation of funds. This is about murder, death, kill. We got a murder, death, kill um judge next that got away with some crooked stuff before and try to do it again. Okay, so that's next. But um, yeah, I'm kind of thrown off right now about this lady. I'm really thrown off about her. Let me get off my screen, get this crooked off my screen. You're an embarrassment to the black community. But this is what I want to tell you. I had a situation and that's why I believe this happened. My kid was in the charter school in Newark, okay? Now, what ended up happening is some said, take you to the board meetings. I started going to the board meetings. Come to find out that they were being investigated by the state for fraud misallocation. So the same person who owned the uh, was on, um, renting the building owned the building cleaned the building, catered the food, did all like everything came, end up tracking back to the same one person. Okay. Which was, um, this guy, I'm not going to name his name. I can see his face and I can see Miss Frederica Bay. Okay. These were the two. Okay. Miss Bay was a Muslim lady elite in our community. The other gentleman, her name was Mr. Davis. He was a police officer in the East Orange. And they all asses was indicted at this charter school. And guess who suffered, y'all? The kids. They shut the charter school down because there's no one, there was no one else to take over the charter school because the person who was playing this role as administrator wasn't doing things right, obviously. So we didn't have adequate people in the community to take over. And again, that's why I believe this shit because it's not far fetched. I watched it, I lived it with these crooked ass people talking about, yeah, the um, we're gonna get the um the maintenance is my husband. And the check going right back to your house, okay? And you getting a crackhead to do it. I'm sorry. Be mad at me. Be mad at Grace Levi. I know if I, woo, y'all been mad if I was a white man saying this shit. But I'm telling you the truth. Y'all motherfuckers is crooked. Black women, you are being exposed in the lead positions. They got you, got you, got you. You thought you was going to get up there and Bill Cosby? They Bill Cosby show ass, Okay. So this Pennsylvania magistrate judge charged with shooting ex-boyfriend as he slept, okay? Now, we're going to watch this um, CABC Philadelphia news clip first, and then we're going to go to the clip that actually made me aware of this crooked-ass judge. So this wasn't about money. This was about murder. Murder. The bitch is sacrificing. They sacrificing bodies, allegedly. Yeah, I ain't never heard stories like this, right? Y'all know Grace Levi found a way to keep it entertained. If my uncle didn't believe these stories I told him, that's what we used to argue about. This stuff about that's not how it is. Police officers risk their lives. I'd be like, yeah, but you got to put your foot on their damn neck when they handcuff. He'd be like, well, when you're tired of running, you got to put your feet somewhere. This is what my uncle would say some sarcastic shit like that. I'd be like, now, nah. you see? That's why I don't fuck with you. And I'll walk away. This is a shout out to my uncle. Yes, God rest his soul. All right, so let's get to it. This is dedicated to him tonight because he hates to hear my mouth talk about this shit. But I'm bringing the facts today. And a central Pennsylvania magistrate judge is now facing attempted murder and aggravated assault charges. Police say she tried killing her ex-boyfriend, but tried to put the blame for the shooting on the victim. 57-year-old wow. Sonia McKnight is now accused of shooting Michael McCoy in the head while he slept last weekend. Police said she tried to convince McCoy that he had pulled the trigger on himself. Oh, McKnight was already suspended from my. the case without pay in November over several God. pending violations. I'm sorry, McKnight claims she is innocent. Okay, I just had a freak out moment. Don't, I can't even talk about what I just thought about. Okay. All right, I got to regroup real quick. Um. Okay, so 
as far as this, I'm sorry, y'all. I really, really got to regroup, okay? That threw me off. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.